Hi guys! So I'm sure by now some of us have seen clips from the four-hour debate with Lila Rose, Kristen Hawkins versus Destiny, a pro-choice activist. Destiny brought up the term blueprint several times during the debate. In one cell, the mm -hmm. only thing there is the blueprint. And the, and the potentiality to continue to develop and multiply. Sure. But it's, it, it's but the it, blueprint. But, but there it's, are, there's a mechanism to begin building the blueprint, but, but, it, but there's destiny, only one cell. Destiny, it's just a blueprint. A it's like if I give you the blueprints yeah. and the parts and I show you something, it's not a blueprint, the parts though. and the blueprint don't go vroom vroom, but, but when I put the car together and I turn the key on, it does go vroom vroom. I, I wouldn't say that just because but, I've got the parts and I've got the blueprint, but, I've got the vroom vroom. I would say after it's all put together, then it has the vroom vroom. Building a car, a self building car with all the parts in the blueprint that can disassemble itself is still not a car until it's put together. Hold on, hold on. It doesn't have the parts yet. It doesn't have the ability to have It does have the parts has the, the ability parts, to develop the parts. The parts. Are it, no, the part and a what, two cell organism. Where are the parts? Where are they in the two cell organism? The code is that's a blueprint. In place. A blueprint is not the thing itself. But it's in a, two cells, where are the parts? It's a self assembling machine, but, but it still but, needs. But the, the self assembling, the, the blueprint, genes. Hold on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is there a brain? In, in my is there analogy, a brain? Is there a brain in your DNA? Is there, is there a, a heartbeat in a DNA? Your no, DNA it can develop into it if it's the is a blueprint. It yes, part thank of the genetic you. Code. It has the capacity for consciousness. No, it doesn't. It has it all the machinery. To it. it has all the machinery needed for consciousness. If no, it doesn't it, have the machinery. It has you, the blueprint. That's all it you, has. If you a blueprint for a house or a car is a human-made representation or plan that outlines the design, layout, and specifications of something needing to be built. It is a visual and technical document created by architects or designers for a building or engineers for a car. The purpose of these blueprints is to serve as a guide. It helps builders, contractors, and engineers understand the intended design and details of something needing to be built. A blueprint is created by architects, engineers, or designers who use their knowledge, creativity, and expertise to design and plan the desired structure or vehicle. They take into account the client's preferences, building codes, and other practical considerations. Whereas a genetic blueprint refers to the inherent genetic information encoded within an individual's DNA. It is a product of natural processes and determines an individual's inherited traits such as eye color, hair color, gender, height, skin color, and many others. It serves as a biological guide for the formation and functioning of an organism. A genetic blueprint is created by God through the natural processes of fertilization. It occurs when the genetic material from the sperm and the egg combine, forming a unique genetic code. It is re a result of the biological process of re reproduction. If you just leave the blueprint for a house and all the material there, it's not going to grow itself. Whereas a human being is self-developing. You can't change the, the genetic blueprint once it has been created. So to say that all you have at fertilization is a blueprint is incorrect. From fertilization, you have a whole human being. Many pro-choicers find it difficult to accept the idea that the unborn is a whole human being because they compare fetal development to making a cake. Uh, Super Chat, we have Dank Naked here with the 50. All I'm saying is when I put some cake batter into an oven and if someone pulled said cake batter out and spilled it onto the floor, I'd exclaim, what are you doing to my cake? Not, what are you doing to my cake batter? Mm. Oh my Oh my God. goodness, destiny. Someone's a thinker. Okay. No, first of all, that the argument is still defeating. Cake batter on a counter would not be a cake. A cake is a thing. <laughs> True. No one would agree that a cake becomes a cake when you mix the first two ingredients. Just like if I have a steering wheel and a windshield, I don't have a car. There is a difference between parts and holes. A sperm and an egg are both human parts. And when the sperm fertilizes the egg, they become a human hole, a human zygote. They develop themselves. It's much more similar to how a Polaroid camera film develops. Let's say, for example, you're on a trip in Scotland and you bring your Polaroid camera with you while canoeing on Loch Ness Lake. And then you see the Loch Ness Monster, so you take out your camera and you snap a picture. But the person you're with doesn't know how Polaroid cameras work. So when they see the picture, they say, oh, what a shame, it didn't turn out, and they rip up your picture. But you know that the moment you took that picture, the image existed, you just couldn't see it yet. All that picture needed was nutrients, the proper environment, and time to transform itself. And that's the same thing with human beings. Nothing is added to the unborn from the moment of fertilization, except for nutrients and the proper environment. There was a lot of hostility coming from both sides during this debate. Oh, and your you beliefs. can use like all the loaded words. But you're right, want. Destiny. Yeah. Your position is correct. You believe that ch children up to 20 weeks mm -hmm. can be killed and you don't give a sh about them. So Destiny's whole argument was that you are not a person until you are conscious. But we know that being a human being is sufficient to be considered a person. 
When we have a formula that says human being plus something, it could be anything like race, religion, age, we see really horrific human rights violations. These historical instances where certain human beings were not considered as persons serve as important reminders of the dangers associated with denying personhood to certain human beings. Denying personhood creates a system of inequality and perpetuates social injustices. It establishes a hierarchy where some individuals or groups are deemed superior or more deserving of rights, most importantly, the right to life. A person may lose consciousness temporarily, such as during sleep or under anesthesia. Consciousness can fluctuate and its absence does not negate an individual's inherited personhood. When certain individuals are denied personhood, it becomes easier to overlook their needs and the needs and rights, leading to a breakdown of empathy, which is exactly what our society has done to the unborn. All human beings deserve human rights, but we need to remember that we are not just trying to win arguments, we are trying to change hearts and minds, and that should always be done with kindness.